What's poppin', y'all? This is DJ with One Shot Game, man. You already know how the motto go. You get one shot at life, but a lifetime to learn everything you need to help empower your life for you. Individuality and finding out who you truly are will make all the difference in your life. But you got to heal first. If you refuse to heal, you're going to be what everybody else wants you to be, not who you truly are. You know what I'm saying? So listen, before I get into the title of my video, I want to say a big shout out to all my supporters. You guys are cool, man. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. For real. So listen, um, the title of this video is going to be on the fact of how we have been under an illusion and mind controlled for years and that people don't even know what's going on. I'm here to tell you, everything that we do in life, we're looking for a reward at the end. We're looking for something that is more appealing to us to jump us into the situation and let me explain to you how i had uh, a scenario where i was in a situation and the person tried to finesse me into getting in a situation i wasn't going to be able to get myself out of for it, okay let me tell you what happened so yesterday i went to t-mobile right to pay my cell phone bill i have a prepaid plan which is no longer available. But I have unlimited text, unlimited call, unlimited data for the plan and what I pay, which is a great price. You know what I'm saying? So I get into T-Mobile, right? And because it's prepaid, one month I paid 81 cents over. So what I wanted to do was take that 81 cents of available balance in my account and add it to my current bill so that it would lower it by 81 cents. You know what I'm saying? So when I asked the girl at the counter who <laughs> was taking my my transaction, because she, as soon as she seen me come in the door, was the first one to walk up to me. You know what I'm saying? Excited because she misjudged me basically off what she thought and who she thought I was. You know what I'm saying? So we get to the counter, we're paying... Once she couldn't understand my question, or she couldn't understand what I was saying, or she automatically prejudged me, she sent it off to the other salesperson, which was a man, right? So they basically didn't hear nothing I was saying. They didn't want to hear that. Their whole main objective was trying to convince me that if you pay only $10 today, we going to get you Netflix, Hulu, this, that, and the third, you know what I'm saying? You only have to pay $10 today. You know what I'm saying? And then 30 days from today, you'll be paying this much. Da, da, da. So I asked, I said, okay, so basically what you're trying to do is get me from a prepaid pan to a landline. Yeah. I said, well, I'm not trying to do that. I'm trying to stay on my plan. I just want you guys to be able to take that 81 cents and deduct it from my phone bill so I won't have to pay the regular price. Act, act like he ignored everything I just said, right? Goes back in. Well, if I do this, you'll only pay 10 today and you'll get Netflix and da da da. I do not want that. Because what you're not understanding is my previous experience with T Mobile from having a regular line where you're able to trade your phone in, you know what I'm saying, for a different one, upgrade every year, you get Hulu and everything on them. They're not telling you that your monthly bill is going to be excessively high every month. They're not telling you that part. They're leaving that part out on purpose so they could finesse you with the Netflix and stuff. So you're like, ooh, Netflix on them, are you all happy? Ooh, I only got to pay 10 today? Ooh, you know what I'm saying? Until you look up 30 days from now, from that time, and your bill is, what, maybe $75, 80 90 $100, and you cannot pay that a month. So now your phone is off and they win. Absolutely not. I don't know who in the fuck you thought I was, but this ain't that. You know what I'm saying? Being understanding to what's going on as a human means you have to be able to see through the manipulation because these people are working for the betterment of themselves. They're not working for the betterment of people. If you look at what's going on in the world right now, everybody is not... You know what I'm saying? Balling out of control, got this and that. Yeah, some people that are, but what do you think they're doing to stay in that position? Why not be accommodating to the people who are having a struggle time? Or be just accommodating to people in general? You know what I'm saying? 
instead of trying to get me into a landline where you know I'm going to have to pay more monthly and I'm already telling you I'm trying to get the price down on my prepaid is a dumb as fuck. It's like you're completely blind to what I'm telling you for the benefit of T-Mobile. I don't give a fuck about T-Mobile. I give a fuck about keeping my same price of my phone so my phone can stay on. I've been having this same price for the whole five years. I'm not changing it. I'm not getting a landline for reasons of my own because I once had a T-Mobile phone and I had started out with the landline, which is the one where you do the credit check and you know what I'm saying? They get you into this monthly service and then you call and get an extension and all that weird stuff. But your, it, your monthly bill is so high a month that they actually get the return back in excessive amounts with you just putting this much down that day. So it's not for you. It's for T-Mobile. Understand that as a society, a lot of us are getting used. And you have to be able to stand up for what's right. Not, you know what I'm saying, use manipulation to try to finesse them back. But what's right. So I'm like, listen, I forgot the lady's name. Can you please continue to count my money and let me know how much I got? So therefore, I can give you the rest. And what he did... As the man, I showed him on the computer screen that 81 cents, it says available funds, 81 cents right there on my account. Can I take that and add it to my account? He did the calculations in front of my face. You should be good. Yeah. Good businessman. I have to agree, but you can't manipulate me over here. You know what I was trying to do? Why did you have to make it so hard? Because you guys are skilled at trying to be business people for the betterment of T-Mobile without understanding that as humans... Why would we want to trap the world into getting a landline that maybe they can't afford by enticing them with Hulu and Netflix and stuff on us? But if they can't afford their bill, it ain't on us because they no longer can afford it. That Listen, that's insane to me. I got prepaid because of my prior experience with T-Mobile. That's it. That's all. It works out for me. It's better. Everything is cool. Why would I want to change it? To get myself more, my foot in my mouth. That's just the same thing with like, you know what I'm saying? Rent, raising rent, knowing people can't afford it. So they they, they want to do good. They go and get these jobs, but they know that these jobs can't afford rent for them to be stable. So now they end up getting into illegal activity. And that leads the police to have a paper trail on you, especially if you have a paper trail in general. It's almost hard to not have a paper trail if you're, you know what I'm saying, the type of person that, right, it, right it's hard you know what i'm saying so all i'm saying is <laughs> for people out there you know what i'm saying is the fact that open your eyes and be wise to people using you for the betterment of themselves you don't have to be rude about it you know what i'm saying you don't have to be ugly about it you don't have to seek revenge you could it's a way you could stand up for yourself and they gonna know okay uh, yeah we ain't gonna play with her no more right all I want, I have no problem with paying the, the nat normal price of what my phone bill is. But the fact that I had this 81 in my account, which I'd already seen online before my bill was due, helped me out by taking that and pulling it down into the amount I had to pay. You know what I'm saying? Which I already paid that. So that's what I'm asking. So once I broke it down and he broke it down, oh, yeah, so if you ever want to come back and, you know what I'm saying, do this landline, here's my card. To, no. I think about it, but no. You know what I'm saying? And that is how you negotiate in business. But you got to think, a lot of us are not skilled in that because we are used to people manipulating us through control and power and making people through fear believe what we say. And then it tricks the person into thinking that they did the right thing when they didn't. Or not even fear sometimes, just into giving them what they want. Everybody likes Netflix. Everybody likes Hulu. Everybody likes car insurance and whatever else they was offering. You know what I'm saying? That better uh, influences you, right? But all those things disappear when your bill is 100 a month and you can't pay for that. So that's where they get their money back for those things. Is the fact that you may pay 10 today, you may get a free phone today, but in the long run, I'm going to get my money back by charging you an extra amount. He was like, oh, the lowest I can get it, your monthly bill down to is 75. You can't play a player. I already know your game. 
And I'm asking, so my monthly bill is going to be higher. I don't want that. They were just not used to a person seeing through the facade in a nice way. You can't do me. You know what I'm saying? So let me pay my phone bill and be on my way. The, the Listen, the girl looked at dumbfounded. She looked at like, oh, shit. I had somebody come and try to finesse her into. So just think, though, how all the new people they're getting. Basically, all of us adults who are programming our children to be in fear and basically do what people say and they have a fog over their mind of not knowing who they are, people are finessing them off of that in general, in life. At the car dealership, you know what I'm saying? At the cell phone place, at the, at the, at the job listing, all that. People do that intentionally by basically judging a person on what they think a person is or how they are without having the brain power to get through all of that. You know what I'm saying? I just manipulated it out of the ditch you, you dug for me. Now you tripped over your own feet and fell in it yourself. So you sign yourself up for that phone and that deal. You already got a deal probably by working here, but you ain't going to do me. You know what I'm saying? But they're trying to get everybody off of prepaid into landlines because some of these companies are losing money because people are catching on catching on to cheaper solutions that can help them save money look at the economy look at people are struggling i don't care how much of a facade they put on they are people are struggling for real they're barely doing what they can to get by and all their evil dirty deeds they're doing behind people's back is it they're they're acting like because they're not telling nobody about them they're not coming in they're not getting the karma back for them but people see people know just because they choose to engage with you and make you think it's cool you understand in the long run how it's not. People have the ability to engage with you because we all acting, right? To make you think this is what it is until this is not that. You get me? But I don't have time to point out somewhere where someone can be flawed and they think differently. So let's play this game. Let's act. You're acting, I'm acting, let's act. But the thing is, I'm going to hit you with the truth. People don't like the truth. The truth is sexy to me. I love it. You feel me? Tell me some shit I don't know. Tell me what's real. You feel me? It'd have been more better if I'd have went in that 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 T-Mobile place to pay my cell phone bill, and he would have just been like, "Oh, okay, I see the eighty-one cents. I'ma just drag it down here." Thank you. Appreciate that. Instead of trying to finesse me into this and that and this, you know what I'm saying? All it did was help me understand how people operate in this world, and they are judging people based off what they look like to finesse and manipulate you. So if I could tell anybody anything, it would be to truly figure out who you are. If you are tired of someone lying to you, the only reason why they keep lying to you is because you keep allowing them to lie to you. Do not give them that satisfactory to keep lying to you. You know what I'm saying? And oftentimes people ask questions already knowing the answers. They just want to see if you're going to lie about it because you're a manipulating liar. And your power and control comes from never being what people want you to be, but controlling other people for the better of you. And at the end of the day, as human beings, no one wants to be controlled or possessed or told what to do. So listen, be mindful and be aware of knowing who you are. And as children, listen, at some point they're going to grow up and realize who you truly are by the things that they see. And I don't want that karma. I don't want the karma of, you know what I'm saying, somebody feeling some way based off of me. But I'm also not going to allow you to use me as a doormat for your own benefit. We're not doing that either. So it's kind of like at some point somebody going to hit a brick wall and it damn sure ain't me. You know what I'm saying? And that's just for everything in general. They're out here using, finessing, and scamming people. And you got to think about it. The other side are people are still hurt by their demons. And a lot of them don't know how to change. They prefer not to change because it benefits them to not look at the herd and just control people. But everybody's not like that. You know what I'm saying? These kids, they, they're getting smarter and smarter. And just because they play along doesn't mean they don't have no intention of abandoning ship when it comes time where they could sail on their own. You know what I'm saying? Listen, if you don't know what it is, I just told you. Please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And be wise and understanding to the fact that it is nothing wrong with being you. Don't let nobody trick you out who you are because they don't know who they are. 
you're going to be the only one that has to die with that pain and leave the world knowing that you allowed someone to dictate who you are instead of realizing it's okay to be who you are for yourself. Because when that casket closed on your head, it's only going to be you in there. Not nobody else. Everybody else going to be alive, still running the world, doing what they want to do. Don't cause harm to yourself due to someone else.